What's going on everybody? Uh, Mike here at Shaft's Butt. Uh, <laughs> I got some cool new footage, finally. It's been a while, took a little hiatus, but I decided that uh, I wanted to wait to show off all this cool stuff and make some good footage. So here's what happened. I bought a Land Rover, <laughs> pretty dumb. Um, I got the Land Rover because of the fact that I've always liked the way that they look. I like the off-road capability that they do have. The one downside is the 4.6 liter V8 that makes 200 horsepower. It's pretty not great. So that's fun. Um, I bought this thing pretty much blown up. It definitely either had head gasket issues, which is no big surprise, or um, possibly the sleeves in the block started running. common thing it's a it's a known issue that they all succumb to at some point in time um, I lucked out and actually found one that was in good shape and got it for pretty cheap so I was happy about that and the upside is I'm gonna put an LS in it uh, the LS itself already is known to be super reliable and not to mention way more peppy um, you pretty much gain 100 horsepower just by going that route and then not to mention I will be putting a cam in it and doing some other silly stuff which I'll show you but um, what I ended up going with was the ACE conversion kit which lets you retain the stack drivetrain as far as the transmission back so it's transmission stock axles all that stuff and all of that stuff, strangely enough, is pretty stout because they've been using it for so long and it's pretty tried and true. They uh, kind of worked out the bugs, I'm sure. You know, they were always pretty good up until this point in time. Unfortunately, the, the D2, which is what I have, it's a 2003 Land Rover Discovery 2. That's the one that I like. I like the way they look. Um, and I, I know that they have flaws, but it's mainly engine so i figured why not take that flaw out and make it something cool so um more or less i've got an entire four inch lift kit for it uh terra firma springs shocks tom woods front drive shaft um front bumper is from a company called lucky eight and i don't know if they actually manufacture it if they just sell it either which way uh, it's a front winch acceptable bumper so it's a totally bolt-on kit I don't have to make anything which is cool but at the same time I do want to fab some stuff up I think I might do rock sliders for it um, I think I'm gonna fab up the rear bumper for it and see if I can trim some of the fat because Land Rovers are pretty fat uh, it's just kind of a known issue they're big heavy off-road hogs but uh, it's gonna be cool because of the fact that I mainly wanted to build this to do some overlanding, some camping trips with the family, and just make it an overall like useful vehicle. Um, I've always wanted one, and to make it my own would be really cool and, and kind of take out the quirks that I don't like and replace them with the stuff that I do like. Um, this is kind of neat. This is a... <laughs> mid 80s Corvette wheel. Um, Land Rover shares a bolt pattern with BMW, Chevy like S10s, Corvettes, Camaros. It's a five by 120 and it's kind of a strange thing to find wheels for. So unless you buy something like a custom, not so much custom, but a, a brand new set of wheels that are drilled for a five by 120 bolt pattern, you're not going to find much in the aftermarket world. Um, they, they do make some pretty good steelies for them, and I like the way those look as well, but I thought, why not? Um, if I'm going with an American V8, why not go with some American rims? Pretty American, I'm not going to lie. 
So yeah, I went with the uh, the Corvette rims, and I got a 265 75 16 on it. Um, I don't know if this is something that I'll stick with, but it's a really good starting point. Um, they got some pretty gnarly tread to them, and got them for a decent price. They're Mud Claw Extreme MTs, and I of course did a little bit of research on them and they seem to be a pretty decent tire for what they are. Um, this isn't going to be a daily driver by any means, but it could be. I just couldn't afford to drive it because of gas prices. So I'm going to use it for fun stuff and going on trips, but for the most part, I think these will suffice for now. And past that, uh, yeah, let's get at it. I haven't touched this thing yet. so. We're starting beginning to end. You get to see it all. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff.